Hello, everyone, and welcome back. This is KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts. Another video describing something that I picked up and added to my Go Kit over the last month the Wolfie Link. This little box right here with the cables that you purchase for your application will allow you to use your HF transceiver out in the field or at home with an Android device and operate PSK, RTTY, and more bridging Android and amateur radio together with this little Wolfie link. And I'll show you exactly how I'll be using it and how I could use it with my laptop or my tablet here as well. So let's check out the Wolfie link and see all about it. The place to come for amateur radio videos. So all of this fits in this little tiny bag here. The Wolfie Link. Let me show you. So the Wolfie Link interface right here. This is an interface, and I'll take it apart and show you, to join your Android device microphone and speaker headphone jack on your device to your radio. You know, I struggled with making my own interface before I got this uh, because I, I figured it wouldn't be that difficult. But the magic behind this, I'll show you inside, is what it does is it takes the audio levels from your phone using the app and turns it into a PTT line to key the radio and pass the audio back and forth. Here's the inside of it, and the only real setup you'll probably need to do is just uh, these two pots here uh, for audio in and out to, you know, pair up perfectly with your device and your radio because there may be different levels across the spectrum of what you're using. But this is good because I can use it with a radio that doesn't have a, a Vox circuit for keying digital, like my X5105, which doesn't have any way to key PTT over Vox. So this will actually solve that problem. And they do actually make cables. I got the cable for that too. This is the cable for the X5105 if I wanted to use that radio. But for now, we'll stick with the ICOM 706. And um, so the Wolfie Link, I'll put the screws back on before I lose the screws. Little tiny box here. He makes each and every one of them himself. So the, uh, when I ordered this, if someone's wondering, might take you up to a week or so. He does have a full-time job. And based on my last couple of videos of hotspots and stuff from private you know, sellers or small sellers making them, if he gets backed up and buried from this video, give him some break because that happened in the last couple of videos where they got swamped and they said, well, you said a week. It's been three weeks. Just take in consideration if I make a video on something, they get hammered. So the Wolfie Link. And then I have the cable, which they made, for the 706, which does have a 13-pin on one side and a 6-pin mini DIN on the other. So the 6-pin mini DIN side goes from the Wolfie Link to the radio. And on the other side, you have a 8-inch headphone jack for the other cable that you get here. Okay, move this aside. So this is a four pole tip ring ring uh, tip ring ring uh, tip sleeve sleeve ring. There you go. Four pole and that's going to go for your transmit and your receive audio into the Wolfie link and into your smartphone headphone jack. Android only from my understanding. But the new iPhones don't even have a headphone jack, so that's what you need here, okay? And that is going to take your audio levels from the app and turn them into real PTT signals that your radio can switch to transmit and receive, okay? So I'm going to show you the apps that they have um, that he made 
And the apps I've downloaded, through, purchased three or four of them. He's got like six or seven. I think I purchased uh, the Droid PSK, the Droid RTTY, and the, uh, the uh, Weather Facts. You can download Weather Facts. That's a whole separate video we'll show you down the road. And also they have uh, an app for Droid Slow Scan TV so you can receive and transmit Slow Scan. I think you can transmit Slow Scan TV on the app as well. So buying the apps supports the creator of his hard, hard-earned uh, or hard, you know, coded apps and the design of his device, okay? Uh, and also another thing, I can use this, which this is the reason I had my tablet in my Go Kit was for this because if I want to have a bigger screen instead of my little phone I could use the tablet. Now also if I wanted to use the tablet I have my Bluetooth keyboard. Okay and the Bluetooth keyboard will make it a lot easier on the tablet on the app and this is on Amazon the link is in the description for uh, I don't know 15 bucks I can link this Bluetooth to the uh, device fire up the app and have the screen on there and I could use the keyboard which actually responds really well. Battery operated can be charged uh, from my solar panel on 5 volts also. So both of these can be charged. This doesn't require any power but the keyboard and the uh, device you're using can be charged with my solar panel. So I have a complete you know, uh, solar charging for these. You don't have to have the keyboard, and that's not something that uh, Wolfie Link has even mentioned, but I, I chose that. I mean, the app by itself, you can type right on it. And one more thing that I did, which I'll probably show in another video, is my laptop. So I picked up one of those on Amazon. This is a splitter that takes your four-pole tip sleeve sleeve ring and turns it into a separate... Uh, headphone and microphone input output. So what I can do, which I've done, is use this like this. Okay, and then I have two cables going to my mic in and mic out on my laptop here, right here in the front. And I could use now my laptop with this interface out in the field for Olivia, Contestia, Hellschreiber, even Winlink for uh, 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 email over HF without having to have a signal link, with, uh, signal link with me. Because currently the apps they have don't have, uh, he tried writing apps for Contestion, Olivia, he said, and he wasn't successful. So, um, you know, that's it. Now, a disclaimer is on their website, there are a couple of devices or manufacturers out there that may not work with this. So far, the devices I've tried, Galaxy, Samsung, they've worked. It uses the voltage on the microphone pin of the phone for transmit. So most phones are uh, 1.8 to 2.7 volts across the, the board, but there may be a phone or two somewhere which has a voltage less than 1.8 volts, and it may not work for you, but maybe that's a China phone, maybe that's an old Nokia, maybe something, I don't know. But, um, you know, the majority of the devices people have tested online are working fine with it. And, uh, you know, so that's that. Let me show you the apps and uh, see how it works, and I'll try to make contact with you here on video. Let's take a look at the website real quick because this shows you the apps that he made and some of the features on the device, the manual and such. Now, I downloaded Droid PSK, Droid RTTY, and WeatherFax. Now, there is also Droid SSTV, which I'm going to buy, and most of these apps are 5 to $6. Bucks, so two, it's one for two ninety nine, I think. Uh, Morse Trainer. There's another app and Navtex for Marine. Get your, you know, because you can download weather information and marine information for sailors and people that are out on boats. Or if you're bugging out and the, the crap hits the fan and you want to know what's going on from the weather, download it on HF, have it on your phone or tablet. That's a whole other video. So um, the Droid PSK app, I'll show you about that. And they give you all the frequencies here if you're a newcomer to PSK on where to operate and um, some info on here. Now, I will tell you that uh, I am right. Droid SSTV, you can transmit and receive on the app, which is cool. Load photos on your, uh, from your phone or SD card into the uh, phone or the app and transmit it. So you can, you can, if you've never done SSTV, which I plan on showing later in future videos, it's pretty cool. In fact, one thing I've done, and, and W2JKD Jim advised me of this, he says, you know, turn it on, go to work for the day, and come back and wait till you see all the 
<laughs> the images that popped up over the day of you've been gone and you can look through them. Some of them are really, really uh, classy video, <laughs> classy pictures from other countries, I have to say. So check that out. But today we'll talk about the Droid PSK and Droid RTTY apps. And they have you a link here for the Google Play Store if you know how to download apps on your Android. They give you the QR code to scan here or you can go on Google Play and download. This one's $6.99. And he has his other ones uh, here on here. So let's uh, fire up the app. So the app reminds you of any other waterfall that you've ever seen looking for uh, PSK signals. So there's 9 Zulu for Alpha Foxtrot. He is, uh, he is chatting with uh, somebody. He's got a good strong signal here in the Florida. So on the app here, uh, you can see that's probably familiar to you, the way that's uh, operating there. But on the right, you have your macros. So you can set up macros. Uh, some of them are set up already for calling CQ and stuff. You can, you know, edit these to be however you want. Set up your macros. Then you can save the macros to the SD card so that if you use them on a different app or a different uh, device, you already have your macros set up. Um, he's in the Caribbean Islands. And again, I, I could use this with a keyboard, uh, you know, typing into a keyboard, or if I wanted to go like this, I could hit start transmit, and I could put, you know, CQ, CQ, you know, whatever. Um, or I could send a macro like that, and that's going to put a CQ out there for me. See if anybody responds. I made one contact earlier. I was just laying back in the chair. Didn't have uh, the camera rolling. But uh, maybe I'll be lucky someone will contact me right now or see my call. Seems that everybody's on FT8 lately. Nobody's on PSK recently. So, uh. so the audio output of the phone, you know, your speaker, you want to adjust accordingly. You can set your speaker not to full blast because it might overdrive the radio. Um, but uh, you want to, you know, adjust the levels so that your ALC is low on your radio and you're not, you know, blasting out. It's not going to do you any good if your signal is distorted. The little yellow dots on top of the waterfall are actually uh, little indicators on where the contacts might be. You have a log book up here, okay? and you'll have uh, your sort by date or your call signs and your contacts, whatever you logged in here. All right. So you can uh, go up here to station info, and this is where you're putting your information. I didn't fill in my email or antenna or anything in here, temperature. And you can send all that with the push of a button. Up in the options here, go into settings. You can change up here from PSK31 to 63. Uh, Bluetooth is experimental right now. I'm curious on how I can get that working. Waterfall speed, using more CPU to have your waterfall go faster. Back up your uh, macros and stuff to an SD card so that if you want to uh, install this on another uh, device, you can transfer your macros without having to retype them all. So check out the RTTY app. See if anybody's on... RTTY, because when I called it Riddy, you guys came unglued and told me I was an idiot. So, so I call it RTTY. So the RTTY app looks pretty much the same. Um, you get the same macros. It's it's just decoding a different type of signal, but it does uh, appear to be, you know, pretty much the same. Uh, right now, I'm still tuned to PSK. I don't think anybody's up there on the RTTY section. I haven't heard anybody really. But you get the idea. Um, usable for both the apps. This might be interesting when I'm on the island under a tree. You know? This thing plugged in and just tapping away without having to set up a computer and all that. Might be uh, pretty uh, compact and portable for sure. See, so now I have it with my laptop connected to the 706 with the Wolfie link. And, um, you know, 
works the same. Without having to get a signal link out, I can use the same thing. So when I take this with me on my go bag, I can do other digital modes like Olivia and Contestia and stuff. And you can see here, without even, uh, I, I really didn't even set up the settings yet, but it's, uh, it's decoding. There's 9 Zulu 4 Alpha Foxtrot again. And the cool thing about this touch screen here is I could, well, I was able to, uh, you know, move around the screen here with my finger. But anyways, yeah, there it goes. So you can tap on the screen with my little touch screen. 1995 computer. <laughs> it makes it more like a, if I swing the, swing the screen around. There you go. Now it's like a tablet all together. Okay. So I could use it that way in the field. One reason I like this uh, HP Touch, Touch Smart, older, but it's a goodie. So the magic is actually, though, in the Wolfie Link here. Little box here. Great for portable for your backpack. Great to work PSK and other digital modes without having to have an elaborate setup if you just want to use a phone that's, uh, you know, not really in use. And actually, I have one more thing here that I wanted to use that with. Here it is. So I picked this up on eBay, right? This is, do you remember these? Old, early 90s pocket PCs, Windows uh, CE devices that, the, the good thing about these things, they still go for a pretty penny, but little touch screen with a full keyboard. The good thing about these are they're instant on. Look at this. There is no waiting for boot up. They automatically just come on. They're all flash memory. And um, using, I, I could use this, from my understanding, this right here is a mic slash uh, speaker out, but it is uh, one of the, the really tiny uh, ones, not the eighth inch, but whatever is smaller than that, 2.5 millimeter. So I plan on, there is uh, actually pocket PC software for uh, PSK and other digital modes. I want to get that software and try it on here. This could actually replace my laptop for, you know, digital modes like that. Almost nothing for power consumption, very lightweight. Uh, and instant on, you know, fire it up, boom, push the button, it's on. When you're done, boom, turn it off. So maybe I'll get the Wolfie Link working with this. If anybody's got any compact flash cards for something like this, please hit me up. I, I Send me some cards so I can get this thing loaded with software. I have no way to load it up. I got it on eBay for about 20 bucks. So uh, definitely a good deal. Well, that's it, guys. The uh, Wolfie Link is definitely a cool little toy. And when you're working me on digital modes out in the field somewhere remote from my house, I'll probably be working it with this. So check out the website for Wolfie Link and their uh, stuff. And I'll try uh, interfacing it with my X5105 now that I got the cable for that, too. And uh, more videos in the future. So stay subscribed. 7-3 from KJ4YZI.